This worksheet is congruent triangles practice part one. And for each of the triangle, we want to determine whether they're congruent. If they are, write the statement and use the correct order and then state the reason. So the first uh, triangle, if we look, we can see that there's a side angle side pattern. And C goes with A and B goes with B and D goes with D. So ABD is congruent to CBD. And the middle triangle doesn't work because all we have is side side. There's nothing about the angles. And in number three, the patterns are different. We have a side side angle pattern and a side side angle pattern that only works for right triangles. So we don't have a triangle congruent shortcut there. For number four, we have side side side. And so S goes with D T goes with S and U goes with W. In number five, we have what we call a kite and reflexive in the middle so it gives us a side and then the two sides are congruent so that gives us side, side, side. And it's important to use the correct letters. Q goes with N, P with P, and R with R. For number six, we have an angle, angle, side pattern between the two triangles. And so WXY goes with AZY. For number seven, we have an angle side angle pattern, so they're congruent. And angle T goes with angle W, and so we have WXY. And again, that's angle side angle. For number eight, we have right triangles. With right triangles, we might be able to use hypotenuse leg, uh, but there's no information about the legs given and we don't know for sure about the angle at A and the angle at W or the angles at Y. And so we can't make a determination on that one. I was looking, trying to figure out some kind of a way with the two lines through WX and AZ being parallel, but can't figure out anything. Uh, with number nine, there's an angle side angle pattern between the two triangles and there's like a twist type thing the way we name them. So STV goes with UVT.